The next generation of gaming has arrived, with the PlayStation 4 taking on the Xbox One. Unfortunately for Microsoft, recent revelations have surfaced, suggesting that Xbox One's power simply cannot compare to that of the PlayStation 4. Detailed analysis of day one launch titles have demonstrated higher resolutions, more detailed textures, and better frame rates from titles on the PS4. But will the average gamer be able to notice these flaws? Should these differences affect your purchasing decision? We'll take a deeper look and find out. Call of Duty Ghost recently launched, shocking gamers to discover that the PlayStation 4 supports its native 1080p resolution, while the Xbox One simply upscales the resolution from 720p. What does that mean? This image reveals the results. The clear, crisp picture on the left, rendered in the PlayStation 4, shows much more detailed fidelity than that of the Xbox One on the right. Textures are blurry, washed out, and lack the visual pop. This leads to another issue, the frame rate. Most games these days are designed to hit a minimum of either 30 frames per second at the least, or 60 frames per second at the most. Due to the Xbox One's hardware-intensive superscaling procedural method, frame rate nearly every game tends to plummet. This occurs especially during CPU-intensive events, such as the Call of Duty Ghosts loadout screen. Notice how the Xbox One drops multiple frames while the PlayStation 4 remains consistent. This problem is not limited to cross-console titles. It affects their exclusives as well. Dead Rising 3, the upcoming sequel to Dead Rising 1, critically stumbles when attempting to render the large amount of zombies on screen. Watch the frame rate repeatedly freeze up, making gameplay nearly impossible. This is simply inexcusable on a so-called next-generation console. To cut corners and maintain a consistent, higher frame rate, Xbox One developers must resort to simplifying their game's graphics, resulting in a much more limited experience for the user. Notice a slight difference between how the player's weapons are rendered in both versions of Battlefield 4. Our trained video fidelity experts were able to notice a very small yet highly important difference in how some vehicles are rendered by the Xbox One. Examine this footage very closely and see if you can notice it. Although you may have missed it, the jet fighter in the background appears to not be a 3D model at all, but rather a small child's terrible drawing of a plane. While this may save CPU cycles and increase the frame rate, it looks highly unrealistic. Issues continue once you actually enter the vehicles, as graphical quality nosedives and the user finds themselves at a distinct disadvantage. Notice how the console's sound chip is unable to accurately reproduce authentic jet engine sounds, and instead loops vocal clips of somebody's grandmother in the middle of a conversation. This might have been acceptable in the Nintendo 64, but it simply Will not cut it during this generation. Additionally, the Xbox One seems to suffer bizarre textural rendering problems, some of which are seemingly impossible to explain. While this scene from Call of Duty Ghosts renders perfectly on the PlayStation 4, it displays very much differently on the Xbox One. We are unable to tell if this is a hardware or software bug, but once again, it's unacceptable. The physics engines have taken a step backwards, as you can see from this footage from Battlefield 4. This simplified rendering of a destructible tower may help the game's performance, but it does nothing for its appearance. In this footage from Madden NFL 25, the Xbox One absolutely refuses to render the color blue under any circumstances. If that wasn't bad enough, the game continually cuts to a screen reading football for every few seconds, ruining the immersion. Football. Most people expect to show that he was dying. Football. Football. Assassin's Creed 4 requires over 9 gigs of hard drive space, all of which is one file, a 49-hour long uncompressed sound file of a continuous triangle wave. Again, while the frame rate holds up, other aspects of the game crumble. In conclusion, these shortcomings, glitches, and substandard effects cause the Xbox One to stumble right out of the gate. It makes no sense to purchase Microsoft's console, which is overpriced and underpowered, when there is a much better alternative. The stark differences between the PlayStation 4 and Xbox One have resulted in one clear, undisputed winner in the console wars, which is why we wholeheartedly recommend purchasing the logical choice, a Sega Dreamcast.